plywood an essential element in our everyday lives? You've probably seen it on construction sites, in furniture, boats and aircraft. But have you ever stopped to think about what makes plywood so special? In this video, we're delving deep into the fascinating history and making of plywood. The layers of plywood, uncovered. You see, plywood is essentially three or more thin layers of wood, also known as ply, glued together. Each layer is carefully oriented with its grain running at right angles to the adjacent one. This unique construction reduces shrinkage and enhances the strength of the finished piece. The sheets are usually large and flat, mainly used in building constructions, but plywood can also be shaped into simple or compound curves to grace your home furniture, boats, and even aircraft. Now, let's take a trip back in time. The use of thin layers of wood for construction goes back as far as 1500 BC Egyptian craftsmen of that era bonded thin pieces of dark ebony wood to a cedar casket exterior found in King Tut's tomb. This ingenious method was later adopted by the Greeks and Romans to produce high-quality furniture and other decorative objects. In the 1600s, the technique of decorating furniture with thin wood pieces became known as veneering, and these pieces were called veneers. Originally, veneer pieces were all hand-cut until 1797, when Sir Samuel Bentham, an Englishman, applied for patents for several machines to produce veneers. He was the one who introduced the concept of laminating veneers with glue to form a thicker piece, basically the inception of what we now call plywood. Even though plywood had been invented, it didn't gain commercial traction outside the furniture industry until around 1890. Plywood was first used to build doors, and gradually it was adopted for other uses like in railroad cars, buses, and airplanes. In its early days, Laminated wood was sometimes dismissively referred to as pasted woods. To counteract this negative image, the manufacturers met and agreed on the term plywood for their innovative material. Fast forward to 1928, and the United States introduced the first standard-sized 4 by 8 feet plywood sheets for use as a general building material. Since then, Advancements in adhesives and production methods have allowed plywood to replace cut lumber for many construction purposes. Today, plywood manufacturing is a multi-billion dollar industry, impacting economies worldwide. And that, folks, is the fascinating journey of plywood from ancient Egypt to our homes and cities today. An everyday material with an extraordinary story. Until next time, keep exploring the world around you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing insights into everyday objects. Bye for now.